Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make uh, an easy lime pie with uh, an Italian meringue uh, topping. Uh, now this might be known in some cases as a, as a key lime pie but I'm not calling it that simply because I don't have key limes. I'm using uh, the ordinary limes that we can buy in the supermarkets here in the UK. So this is a, a lovely tart that has a digestive biscuit base and then a sort of custard mix with condensed milk, egg yolks and lime juice as the filling and then an Italian meringue that goes on the top. And I start off by preheating my oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. And I have a nine inch uh, pie dish here ready uh, to use. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for the pie crust I have 227 grams which is 8 ounces or uh, 8 digestive biscuits. I have 50 grams, a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar, 3 grams, half a teaspoon of salt and uh, 100 and 13 uh, grams, half a cup of melted unsalted butter. Then I have uh, 397 grams, which is uh, one tin or one and one third cups of condensed milk. I have 160 millilitres, two thirds of a cup of lime juice, four medium egg yolks, which would be large in the USA, 90 millilitres, six tablespoons of double cream, and I have a further pinch of salt, and that's going to go into the lime filling. And then for the meringue, I have two medium egg whites, which would be large in the USA, 100 grams, half a cup of caster sugar, 60 millilitres, a quarter of a cup of water, 15 millilitres, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, one and a half grams, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, that will help to stabilise the meringue, and one and a half grams, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So I can set the meringue ingredients to one side, and work on uh, the crust to start with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my digestive biscuits, breaking them up as I do so, into the processor bowl of my immersion blender and I'm going to sprinkle my little bit of salt over and the light brown sugar. And I'm going to process those until they turn into a fine crumb, basically. And that's good like that. So then I'm going to pour in my butter and I'm going to process it again. And so I've just processed that until the butter is mixed through. So then I'm going to take that and put it into my 
pie dish. And I'm going to spread that over the base and up the sides and I'm going to press it down to compact it until it covers the base and the sides. And you can use uh, the back of a spoon or you can use um, whatever you want basically to do that. And with that pressed down quite firmly into the uh, pie dish, I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it until it's fully baked through and it holds together nicely. And that should take 18 minutes, maybe even up to 20 minutes, but about 18 minutes will be enough. Then I'll take it out of the oven uh, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I baked my crust for um, 18 minutes and uh, it's baked up quite nicely so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the ingredients for the filling into a bowl so that's my condensed milk along with uh, the double cream my egg yolks the lime juice and a pinch of salt and I'm going to just whisk those to get those combined. And that's good enough. So then I'm going to pour that lovely thick mixture into my biscuit case. like that and I'm going to put that into the oven and I have it standing on a, a baking tray just for ease I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes and that is until the outer edge of the lime filling has set but if I was to shake the pan the center would be a little bit wobbly then I'll take it out of the oven and I'll come back and show it to you and then it will continue to to cook as it cools down and uh, then that, uh, that center, the wobbly center will set as well. So I baked my um, <clears throat> lime pie in the oven for 30 minutes and um, it set just around the edge and uh, it has a little wobble in the center. So I'm going to leave that to cool down for about an hour and then I'm going to take it off the tray and 
put it into the fridge and I'm going to leave it to chill in the fridge for four hours and after four hours I will come back and we'll make the Italian meringue put it on the top and we'll have a taste. So my uh, lime pie is chilling in the fridge what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a syrup with my uh, 60 millilitres of water and 100 grams of sugar and I'm going to put that onto the stove and I'm going to heat it until it starts to boil and it reaches a temperature of 115 to 16 degrees Celsius which is 240 Fahrenheit um, and that will then be ready to go into uh, my beaten egg whites but first I need to beat the egg whites so I do that as I slowly start to heat the sugar and the water So I'm going to put the egg whites into the bowl of a stand mixer and I'm going to whisk those on a medium uh, speed until they reach just about soft peak stage. And having got them frothy, I'm going to add in my cream of tartar and my salt and carry on mixing them. And that's at a soft peak stage. So I'll just leave those until my sugar and uh, water have boiled, uh, started to boil and have reached temperature. So that's my sugar and water up to 115 degrees. So I'm going to put my mixer back on whisking um, at a medium heat, that's at a medium speed, and I'm going to slowly uh, put in the sugar, drizzle in the sugar along with the vanilla extract as well. So I've beaten that for um, a couple of minutes and as you can see um, the peaks are holding their shape quite nicely. I'll just give it another 30 seconds I think. And that's good enough. So then I'm going to put that into a piping bag. And with that in a piping bag I have a star nozzle attached to the bottom of the bag and I'm simply going to pipe the meringue around the edge and then a little bit in the centre like that
and that's then ready to serve. So I've cut two slices out. So uh, you can see one slice here, um, and this is the rest of the tart or the pie, obviously. So I'll have a taste of one of the pieces which I've cut out. Mm. has a lovely soft and creamy lime filling. Um, that little bit of sweetness from the Italian meringue goes very well with it as well, uh, too. And then that crunchy uh, digestive biscuit base is perfect as well. So it's not a difficult recipe. It's fairly straightforward, but it does take time because you need to allow the pie to chill completely before you put any um, meringue on the top and you don't have to put meringue on the top you can serve it without meringue or you could serve it with some uh, whipped cream on the top as well if you want to so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.